Is polycystic ovary syndrome an autoimmune disease? Let's talk about it. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a condition in women that is characterized by chronic high levels of testosterone and an anovulatory state, meaning not ovulating regularly. In PCOS, low levels of progesterone, because you're not ovulating regularly, overstimulates the immune system, which may lead to the production of autoantibodies. Autoimmune disease means your immune system is producing antibodies against you. At this point in medicine, we don't consider PCOS to be an autoimmune disorder, but it is associated with many other autoimmune disorders. PCOS causes inflammation and immune hyperstimulation, which can cause tissue destruction. When cells are destroyed, ANA or anti-nuclear antibody is produced. Those are the hallmark of autoimmune diseases, and oftentimes we see this in PCOS as well. We also see high levels of other autoimmune antibodies in PCOS, including autoimmune thyroid antibodies, both thyroid peroxidase antibody and anti-thyroid globulin antibody, anti-islet cell antibodies, which attack the beta cells of the pancreas, anti-sperm antibodies, which is very common in PCOS patients, contributes to infertility. It seems to be that the imbalance of estrogen to progesterone stimulate the hyperreaction of the immune system and may contribute to autoimmune conditions. The most classic autoimmune condition that is associated with PCOS is thought to be thyroiditis traditionally hypothyroiditis, which means low thyroid function with autoimmune antibodies, but sometimes hyperthyroiditis, which means high thyroid function with autoimmune antibodies, since PCOS is a metabolic syndrome, meaning that high inflammatory markers of PCOS can contribute to metabolic issues like glucose metabolism. It leads to central obesity, high blood pressure changes, and changes in your lipid profile. These metabolic reactions can interfere with normal immune functioning. The core issue is in your hypothalamus. The hypothalamus controls your reproductive hormones. The miscommunication between the hypothalamus, pituitary, and the ovary is part of the issue that we see in polycystic ovary syndrome. The hypothalamus also controls your immune system, and in patients with autoimmune conditions, the hypothalamus is often dysregulated. Supporting your hypothalamus with Genesis Gold, especially if you have PCOS, can help to reverse polycystic ovary syndrome and reduce autoimmune tendencies. Now, if you have any questions about polycystic ovary syndrome and autoimmunity, why don't you join me in our hormone support group? You'll get access through our free hormone reboot training. Supporting your hypothalamus with Genesis Gold can help treat polycystic ovary syndrome and autoimmune disorders naturally. I'll see you in the next video.